from Camille I Am. I have been so obsessed with cactuses lately and I think that everyone else has too. Today I'm going to make three cactus DIYs that are super easy so that you can add the cactus vibe into your home. But before we start this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below letting me know if you're as obsessed with cactuses as I am and make sure to check out my social media which will also be in the description below and let's get on to the video. For the first DIY, we will be making this cactus ring dish. So the things you will need to make this are some oven baked clay, a clay tool, some acrylic paint, oven baked clay glaze, a paintbrush, and some super glue. First you're going to start working with your clay and I'm taking the pink clay first because it will be the bottom of our ring dish and I'm just warming it up in my hands to make it more workable and then eventually rolling it out with a glass. I'm just using the glass as a rolling pin and I'm just rolling it out until it's as thick as I want it to be. Then I'm going to be taking this container that I found in my cupboard and this is actually perfect because it's going to allow me to create a little lip slash edge that I want around my ring dish, but you can also just use any glass or jar that you already have. Then I'm using the same glass that I used to roll out our clay and I'm using it as a cookie cutter to cut out the perfect circle shape. Cut off all the excess clay around the edges and then you're going to take your glass or container and with the smooth side down of your clay, you're going to flip it over and start molding it onto the jar, making a little lip around the edge for the ring dish. Once you are done molding it, you can set that aside and now we are going to start making our little cactus. For the cactus, we're going to be taking our mint green clay and we're first going to roll it out into a little snake shape, making sure that it is as thick as you want the trunk of your cactus to be. Start shaping it by rounding the top and cutting it to the height that you want your cactus to be. Now you can start making the arms of your cactus, so you're going to roll them out into little snakes, cutting them shorter this time. Then you're going to start shaping them into the arms of the cactus by making them have a little bend in them. Then taking your clay tool, you're going to start molding them onto the cactus, making sure that they are attached really well. And lastly, for our little cactus, we're going to take the clay tool and add little line details. Then you're going to preheat your oven to 250 degrees and bake them in the oven for 20 minutes. And once your clay has come out of the oven and cooled, we're going to super glue the cactus to the ring dish part with some super glue and let that dry. Then I'm taking some white acrylic paint and the back of a paintbrush and I'm going to add some little white dots to the bottom of our ring dish. To make it look a little bit more professional, I'm going to be adding this oven baked clay glaze and just brushing that over the whole ring dish and letting it dry. And here's our finished cactus ring dish. I think this turned out so cute and me and my husband have really been enjoying using it. For the next DIY, we are going to be making this cactus doormat. The things you will need to make this doormat are a plain doormat, I just got this from Ikea for $10, a white poster board, a sharpie, an exacto knife, and some black spray paint. First I started out by freehanding my design onto a white poster board, and if you guys aren't good at drawing, you can always print out pictures and trace them onto a poster board. So I just drew out my design with a pencil first, and then taking a sharpie, I went over my design making the lines a lot thicker so that I would be able to cut them out with the exacto knife. And once you're done with your design, you're going to start cutting it out with an exacto knife. And I made sure to put a mat down on the ground so that I wasn't cutting anything important underneath. And this is a little tedious, but it's definitely worth it in the end. When you're cutting out the words, make sure to keep the pieces of the letters that have holes in them because you're going to need those later. Now we can start spray painting our design onto our doormat and I'm just taking it outside and making sure that I am covering the area really well so that I'm not getting spray paint everywhere. And I took the middle of the letters and I secured them with a push pin into the doormat so 
so that they would stay in place while I'm spray painting. And I had to go over it a couple times with the black spray paint because the doormat was soaking up the paint a little bit. Let it dry for a couple minutes before peeling it off to reveal your cute new doormat. I was having the hardest time finding a cute doormat that I wanted online so I thought I would make one myself and I'm so happy I did because I think this turned out really cute. For the last DIY, we will be making this cactus throw pillow. So the things you will need are a pillow insert and a pillow case. I got both of these at Ikea and they were really cheap. Some freezer paper, a sponge brush, fabric paint, and a needle and thread. First I started off by freehanding my design onto a piece of cardstock. I first drew in pencil and then I thickened the lines with a sharpie just like I did with the doormat. Then I laid it out how I wanted it on my pillow and I placed the freezer paper over the top of my design and started cutting it out with an X-Acto knife. Keep doing this until your whole design is cut out with the X-Acto knife and then taking an iron, you're going to iron the freezer paper onto your pillowcase. Now with the sponge brush and the fabric paint, you're going to start sponging on your paint and coloring in your design. After it's dried, you can start peeling off all the freezer paper from your design. And lastly, to add a little bit of color, I took a needle and thread and embroidered in one of the little spines on the cactus. And here's what the pillow will look like when it's all finished. I really love how this turned out and it's really fulfilling all of my cactus vibe dreams. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these three cactus DIYs. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my social media and my blog which will be linked in the description below. And also comment down below letting me know if you're going to try out any of these cactus DIYs for yourself. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!